Hi everybody, it's Nathan here at Delaware Auto Sales again on this nice sunny day. We're going to take a look at this Honda Fit now today. Uh, this is a 2013. This is a nice and clean Honda Fit with just turned 18,000 miles. Kind of looks black on this side because we're in the shade. We did just finish detailing this car, so it's freshly cleaned and detailed. Let's come over here to this side in the sun. It just turned 18,000 miles. Unbelievable. It's the dark, uh, deep purple color. I believe it's called Black Current Pearl. That was what Honda used to call it in the old days, but I don't know if that's still the name. But it's a real deep, dark purple. You can see it in the sun right there. But then as soon as you kind of come around, it's almost like a chameleon because those doors look black and the fender looks purple. So there's the color right, right there in the sun. Um, it's very nice. It's very clean. It's in great shape, mechanically solid. Um, and uh, just a few little cosmetic things on the outside, but I'll show you that here in a moment. <clears throat> Only two owners and a clean Carfax report. You can see the Carfax report, all of my still photography, and a written description for, my, for about everything I'm going to tell you here uh, on our website, which is right there. So. Uh, the only thing we found that this vehicle needed when we put it through our service and inspection and complete vehicle inspection was an oil service. So it got an oil service. Um, <clears throat> the front tires have 9 30 seconds tread remaining. The rear tires have 11 30 seconds tread remaining. The front brakes have 6 millimeters remaining. And the brake shoes in the back, shoes have 4 millimeters. So brakes and tires are excellent and have lots and lots of time and life left remaining. There's the tread on the front and this wheel right here, very clean. Um, let's look at all the wheels and I'll show you a few cosmetic imperfections. Here's this tire back here and this wheel, very nice. Um, there's a dent right here. I don't think we're going to be able to have anything done about that because of where it's located, but uh, you, can, <coughs> you can see uh, the paint's uh, chipped right there and you can see the dent right there in the reflection. So door opens and closes fine. Also, this car has been z barted There's plugs inside the door jams. You can see these rubber plugs. These are the z bart plugs from where they do the rust proofing injection. Uh, the back bumper is scuffed here. Um, there's a, it's maybe, maybe backed into something. I don't know. But anyway, this, there's that. There's some scratches there and there. Uh, we will have that touched up with touch up paint with the company that we use once they make it out here to do our touch-up paints. Um, there's that wheel. And there's this wheel. So all the wheels are in good shape. All the tires obviously very nice. Now there's some scratches on the front bumper right here where they may have run into the same thing they ran into with the back, but we'll have that touched up as well to make it at least look a little bit better. <clears throat> so there's that. The rest of the front bumper is very clean. Um, headlights pretty nice and clean. Minimal sunburn right, right across the tops right there on the upper edges. Uh, front hood, paint in great shape. <clears throat> uh, runs and drives great. It's barely broken in with 18,000 miles. So definitely, definitely a nice little car. Great fuel mileage. Let's take a look on the inside. It has, um, there's a door panel, power windows, power locks, of course, nice and clean and tidy. Has WeatherTech floor mats on the floor, driver's side seat is pretty much perfect. There's nothing negative about it at all. Armrest. <clears throat> steering wheel controls right here. Steering wheel leather and material is in great shape, nice and clean, good shape. There's the exact mileage, 18,039, 18,039 miles right there. Um, all of the middle area here is very clean and nice. Simple, easy to use climate control, original radio, aux input right here. Nice big dashboard, but good visibility all the way out and through and across with the little triangle quarter front windows right there. Um, it has two master keys so it has two keys okay two keys um, let's continue on this is this is one thing I really like about these fits this cup holder right here I think it's very sensible because here you are driving along and 
if you're not videoing like I am right now, you can switch to your right hand on the steering wheel and then you can grab your beverage and take a drink. I think it's very sensible to be on the dashboard and not down in the middle where you have to kind of look down to, to grab it. Um, back seat is perfect. Looks like nobody's hardly been in it. Uh, there's a rubber WeatherTech mat all the way across the rear. Backs of the seats are very nice. Door panel's very clean. The Z-Bart plugs over here, same way with the rust proofing job. Cargo area back here, spare tire and tools down there, all very clean. This is clean. These seats fold down, of course, to make a flat floor. That's what you do with the handles right there to flip them down. I don't, I don't think anybody hardly had anything back here ever because um, all of this plastic back here, even here on the tailgate piece, you know, very, 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 it <laughs> doesn't look like doesn't look like anything's ever been in there. So this is real nice and clean, same way as the rest of the car. Clean, clean, clean. seat just as nice as the rest there's this front weather tech mat I think the driver's side one snap in all the rest of them just lay there here's the owner's manuals in here again two keys so very very nice and clean let's take a look under the hood the engine compartment looks as brand new as you might expect A couple of years ago, we had a 2003 Chevrolet Cavalier that had less mileage than this car. Most people, if you are a car person, you know, most people that buy Cavaliers put a lot of miles on them and that's why they buy them. And this particular 2003 Cavalier had 8,800 miles on it. Um, so, you know, sometimes people buy a car and they just don't go anywhere. So look how clean this is. That Cavalier was purchased by a man who had bought one and done the exact opposite, done nothing but drive it, and his Cavalier that he was getting ready to retire when he bought the 8,800 mile Cavalier had 375,000 miles on it. So he did the complete opposite of the 8,800 mile car. <laughs> very, very clean and nice. for you here a little bit, not that there's anything wrong with this car. It is at a little higher RPM. This Honda is probably one that you could buy and drive for, oh, at least 10 years. Realistically, probably 15 with a very, very low cost of ownership. So, give you another walk around here. A few cosmetic imperfections, but where else can you find 18,000 miles? Very, very nice, very, very clean. Um, thanks for looking. And uh, oh, I forgot in the beginning. If you've watched from the beginning till now, there's also a dent on this side right here. Not as big as the other side, but a little dent right there as well i forgot to point that out when i first showed the cosmetic things so a few cosmetic things around it but where else to find 18,000 miles um if there's anything i haven't shown or talked about that you'd like answers to please feel free to reach out to us boy you can really see that color in the sun please feel free to reach out to us and we'll be happy to talk to you about it and get you the answers again my name is nathan and i thank you for watching 
and uh, make it a great day. And until next time, peace. Bye-bye.